Hello everyone, we, we are going to talk about how to register and download free Landsat imagery data in the USGS Earth Explorer today. To do that we will go to Google search and uh, put keywords here and click on the name of well, the website. And first of all, what we must do is to log in by clicking the login button here and uh, we'll go to create new account and after that we are going to create our username and new password to, to enable that we can sign in later on the website once you have done this then you will go to this button to tick it and then continue here you are going to select which sector you are working on, which of the following characterizes you uh, as a user, and so on by reading the sentences, the questions you can answer, all of them. So, for example, I'm going to be data provider and I'm going to use remotely sensed data, and my operational work percentage is 100, and my primary use in, with USGS Earth Explorer is agriculture forecasting, for example, and I can select other uh, spheres that I can work on. So, by reading these questions as well, you can answer, and then you'll continue to contact information and here's there are they are asking me uh, in what sector I, I work in academic institution and uh, no and after that we are going to provide our private information here for example our first name last name the company or organization we work in or address where we are living in our city or state or province or zip or postal code of city or email address uh, to get some emails from the website alternative email and our telephone number to be contacted with them and after completing this form we go to save contact information so after that click submit registration to be sent an email by the website and you need to check out your email to get uh, the email to confirm your message and then you need to return to login page so after confirming the message sent by email you need to put your username here and your password and after uh, putting your password you should go to sign in and clicking the sign in you should re-enter the website once you re-interate the website you can see that you have been logged in and now you can start to download data so first of all we need to select our region of interest and there are four ways to do this For, first of all you go to this uh, options button uh, by using this pen you can zoom out and zoom in the image the map and uh, you go to your region of interest for example I'm going to work in Uzbekistan which is si situated in Central Asia and after that you're going to use these options and you can use circle, predefined area or polygon feature types. I'm going to use polygon and 
you, you can create a polygon by using this pan so this is one way to clear it you go to this button and left click another way to go to your uh, region of interest you can go to geocoder here we have three options as you can see for example if you use this search button uh, if your country isn't located in the US then you go to world features and you select the country you are willing to work on for example Uzbekistan and then feature type I'm going to use this dam and it is kind of hydrographic features and feature type is going to be reservoir because this dam is very suitable for it and I can use this show button to show uh, different uh, list is uh, different uh, kinds of reservoirs list in Uzbekistan and this dam is called Charwak and I'm going to press on it and it will show me it and in other uh, you can go to address place and if you write just Charwak and press show it will show you the point in your region of interest. And so this is the last, uh, this, uh, the fourth way is using pass and row, and you should exactly know how, how to uh, put pass and row here. Charwak Dam is located in this pass and row, and I can use show and clear. So it's quite near the region of interest and you should go to date range for example I'm going to get data capture it in 2021 and 2022 and here we can select search months for example I'm going to use a data uh, which is which has been captured in June and uh, to avoid cloud, uh, cloud coverage uh, you should uh, change this to less than 10 percent it means that the quality of your uh, image is very good and you should go to data sets and you are going to select Landsat and you should do the same process as you uh, can and the most recent Lancet 8 and 9 is very qualitative to work on and you should go to results and uh, by using this footprint you can exactly know where it matches the region of your interested area or not and before downloading it you can check the cloud cover by looking the preview of the image it's very qualitative and then go to download options and it provides you the whole uh, geotiff uh, image which is about one gigabyte or you are you you're going to work on uh, separate bandes you can download them so after downloading your image you can add it by using adding data and selecting it and click add button so here you can see the downloaded Landsat free image thanks for watching